that's really relaxed and not, I don't want to kill myself. Like, ah! see you there. Uh, quick update for day <laughs> five, six, I'm not sure. It's all a blur at this point. Yesterday, as you have seen from that video, was essentially all electronics, uh, minus some structural stuff that we did to the elevator. And so the electronics are mostly done, uh, minus, you know, just very fine tuning stuff. The robot has not been powered on yet, but it's all there, which is a lot better than yesterday. We mounted the motors for the uh, elevator so that it can go up and down, as well as uh, you know reattaching structural pieces and all that. Uh, biggest thing this morning after waking up, uh, well morning, uh, this afternoon after waking up, we mounted the carriage or the intake uh, and discovered several problems, including, but not limited to, being two inches short from the top of the robot because of gussets. That shouldn't be a huge issue. Uh, the pistons should be able to sort of angle it up and shoot out, but we haven't tested the motors, so we don't know that yet. Uh, what else is there? The intake motors actually uh, get stuck on these trucks and we cannot lift a hatch up, so that will be an issue that has to be resolved. Uh, bumpers are coming along very well, but uh, speaking of bumpers, they are posing a problem for our hatch pickup mechanism, which we will now have to basically completely redesign. So, we have some work to do. The goal by uh, today is to have a moving robot that kind of works, and hopefully tomorrow will just be fine-tuning, but who knows what could happen. Trap came in and told us that we're not allowed to work on the robot until we make more prototypes of the hatch pickup. So, as a result, we've made several prototypes of different hatch pickup mechanisms that could potentially work with the current setup of our drop down intake. Some interesting ideas that we've come up with is um, straight up using our same. Uh, using our same um, flex hand piece and basically running the Velcro along the side and using a piston to shear it off instead of punch it off. Um, our second prototype is essentially um, another flip out system in the center of the intake and it uh, attaches to the disc on the bottom side with Velcro and then clamps on from the center um, for the actual deployment like this. Um, we have it such that the hook will slide underneath because there's a space underneath the disc created by the Velcro and we're hoping that that would work. For our third prototype, we've gone with two shafts attached to versus planetary gearboxes that we've just wrapped with Velcro um, and they're working basically the same way as our other uh, pickup where you just drop down on it and then once you've picked up said disc and you've placed it, onto there. You spin the shafts to actually release 